Get low and go. So this is what we do. We've been practicing this plan for you. You hear that it going off. We can either come through this window here or we've got another door here. As huge chunks of concrete like this one are being thrown down from crews working up above. So for drivers who are used to paying just $1 to get to and from the Cape, now they're going to need $2. Plenty of sand and magazines that have flown out. You can take a look right down there as they work to get the roadway clear. And you're taking a very first look, first live pictures here in the 200 block of West Mariana Street. Major developments in this story. I just spoke with people here, witnesses who saw this happen. Two people were shot, one a store manager and two a suspect trying to rob the place. Now here's what happened. Growth of course starts at the bottom of the food chain and for Mother Nature, it's stuff like this that brings in bigger plants and therefore more fish. That's right, orange juice is pouring from the truck and they're asking you to call them with tips. You can actually find the number, ironically, right here on a neighborhood watch sign. And it's so widespread that it even landed in our email inboxes here at Wink News. Very nice. I think she wants another job. And now the transformation from human to cat is complete. You guys, I'm actually inside the sphere of danger here. We have motorbikes getting ready to spin around me right now. I'm going to be standing very, very still as they get going. This is one of the big acts of the circus. Oh my goodness. Somewhere in all of this madness as that crowd rushes into the Best Buy is our own Maggie Crane. Maggie, tell us what it's like out there. <laughs> Oh, I can tell you, Rob, this is a madhouse right here. Wink News actually counted them down to the grand opening of Black Friday. And as you can see, people are pouring past. They're grabbing items like this out of the to find the Best Buy there. But I can tell you, before these doors even opened, six big ticket items were already sold out. Many of them were laptops and desktop computers. So far, they found a blanket and a flip flop that have given them some hope. But neither one turned out to have anything to do with Melissa Shook. The Lee County Sheriff's Office scans the sky around the last place anyone saw Melissa Shook. Family take to the water to keep a watch on the canal. And friends on four-wheelers wielding machetes dig through the brush. Friends and family of Melissa Shook, a missing mother of three, look for clues to her disappearance. Anything new, anything smell. If we see like tire marks going off somewhere or you see where the brush is maybe um, stepped down or anything like that or, you know, any new dirt or anything that maybe looks a little suspicious. Covering more than 100 blocks, they fear the worst. The longer we go, the harder it is on the family. But they continue to hold out hope for the best. She's such a loving person, and we know that everybody loved her, and she has a lot of friends and family that really care about her, and we really want to hear from her. The last time anyone heard from Melissa Shook was Tuesday, when her husband, Joe Shook, received a text message that said, I'm safe now. But other family members fear that's not true. They won't go into detail, but say the texts they received don't sound like the Melissa they know. So they keep searching. Now, as they search, family and friends are leaving these little markers behind to make sure that they don't duplicate each other's efforts. That's right, Lois. Today, Paul Price called me, agreeing to talk about the night he was shot, so long as we didn't show his face. That's because he says the gunman was Christopher Ward. That's this man here who is now out of jail on bond. Now, Price describes the night in detail, including who he says came to the door moments before he was shot. Now, we should warn you, you'll see Paul's injuries for yourself. Because it was like, door open, push, and that was it. I didn't think I was going to make it because I was in so much pain. But he did, and Paul Price has the bullet wound scars to prove it. This is right here is where the bullet entered me, and this bruise is because when it sh the bullet shattered and it expanded and I was putting pressure on it, and this is where the doctor had to cut me open to get the bullet. A stapled stomach, Price says he never should have gotten. Not with Cape Coral Police right by his side when it happened. The Taco Bell manager says he knew someone was threatening to rob his restaurant, but police were in the store, ready. These two officers come in my dining room with uh, heavy, uh, heavy, heavy armor, machine guns, and they're like, we're going to post up in the back of your store. And when they told me to tell the other employees that when they say hit the deck, hit the deck. I felt safe because of the fact that they were there and I felt better than being there alone with just my guys because if someone was to come in there or try to get to me, I want to be, I would, you know, I want to be, I'd be more vulnerable because I'm, I have nobody there to help me. And the officers that I felt more secure, but at the same time, I was more worried something was to happen. At 1230 a.m., 
a knock on the back door. I said, "Might I help you? And they said, this is Cape Cod Police Department. And I said, hey, it's for you. Can I open the door? Cop told me to open the door, and I got shot. And I just feel like I told him the door, and I got shot. And I just feel like I told him to the door, and I got shot. And I just feel like I told him to the door, and I got shot. 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 And Billy, can I please have left time, right time, floor time? Kick, snare, and hi-hat together. Symbols, Billy? It's the very beginning of making an album. Levels good, guys? And Anthony Iannucci makes sure the basics are absolutely in sync before adding extra players. People believe um, that when they hear a CD, it, it, basically the band just gets together and plays. And uh, in fact, it's not, it's not the case. So what does it take? Well, that's why we've come to Unity Gain, a recording studio here in Fort Myers, to find out. It's true that the entire band might get together to play at once, but it's Anthony, behind the scenes, who masterminds the final mix. While the sultry sound of this jazz trio might sound great to you and me, it's not yet music to Anthony's ears. Rule of thumb generally is 85 to 90 percent um, of the take is good, and an other percentage can be fixed. That way, if one voice cracks, one string snaps or a key is, well, off key, it can be fixed. Let's say the first verse was really good the first time and then the next time around, you know, the chorus was excellent. So, so you can cut and paste all those little things together. With today's technology, it's almost like a puzzle. It takes hours of meticulously mixing and remastering to match melodies, all to make music that won't miss a beat. That's how I live and I'll die. If you're late or early in your timing performance or you're sharp or flat within a certain parameter, I can amazingly put you in so that it would sound like you are singing exactly on time in very good pitch. Amazing indeed. Now we all know that there are plenty of pop princesses peppering the airwaves, along with hip hop artists. In today's music world, both rely heavily on people like Anthony. I think that a lot of the technical equipment that's available today has made the artist a bit lazy. I probably should be thrown in jail for some of the, the real intense <laughs> resurrections I've done, uh, but I'd say 99% of them are in fact done the right, the right way. But Anthony adds that he can do amazing things with just average talent. So you can make me sound perfect. Well, yeah, we could try. <laughs> <laughs> so we put him to the test. No cares for me, I'm happy as I can be. Far from perfect, Anthony dips into his arsenal of tune-up tools to tackle my voice track. So you're going a little bit sharp on that. I can, I can, I can make this flat uh, so that the note sits perfectly in tune. Over the years, record producing has turned high tech, using audio and visual tools together to create perfect pitches. But even so, it can take days to produce a single song. Once the group is gone and Anthony tweaks timing, it takes a final crucial step before a record is recorded to CD. Mix the whole thing down to stereo so you can play it in your CD player in your car or home. And here is the finished CD. And that's how a record album is made.